Oh, and it's waved off. No highlight? I'd like to see a replay of that, but that's all right. All right, guys, we are back. We've had a uh, kind of poor run of form here after uh, the loss to Wolves. Man United, a nil-nil draw. Uh, Fulham, a 1-1 draw. Calvin Phillips getting on the score sheet in that one. Jamie Shackleton suffered an injury that took him out until just recently. Uh, then we had uh, Aston Villa, 2-2. Uh, Guiri and Konaki. I'm struggling with that name because I don't play him a lot, but Konaki with a goal, and we actually gave up the equalizer late in that one. Sheffield United, we got a 3-1 win. Jack Harrison, Sandro Tonali, and David Konaki with the goals in there. Wolves beat us 2-0 again, so 5-0 in aggregate to those guys. Chelsea, we did shock 2-1. Both goals coming from Rodrigo, and so that was a good performance. Everton, a 2-2 draw. Bamford and Dallas, we played a pretty heavily rotated squad there, so uh, not much in the way of the back line. Silva coming in there, Jordan Stevens, Stroik uh, coming in, Jack Harrison, Konaki, Bamford, uh, and then uh, Rodrigo coming on as a substitute. But we knew we had a tight collection of games here so we just had to get through it but only two wins but only one loss in this run off camera so we're currently hanging on in eighth position 28 points from 18 games and a plus four goal differential i wish that was a little bit better guiri still leading the way with seven goals konaki a 7.13 average rating Although he has, and he has four goals in three matches. So might have to give some thought to playing Kanaki a little bit more. Shackleton's back, so I don't know. We'll, we'll look at that. Let's take a quick look at the squad since we've had a run of matches. So eight goals for Guiri, Konaki with four, Rodrigo Rafinha with three each. And on the assist front, Rodrigo with four, Shackleton with four as well. And he's still got a fitness issue, but he can play. So I'd like to get him back into the mix. So let's take a look at team selection, figure out what we're going to do. I've been playing this tactic. I kind of want to keep this going, but I am going to tweak it a little bit. I've already taken off work ball. And I am going to turn it into a regroup. That's all fine. So we'll see how that works. All right, so we've got Guiri Rodrigo up top. And she's eating breakfast, so she'll cheer us on from the background. Rafinha Phillips, Dallas in the mid. Tenali slotting into that ball-winning midfielder. Davis, Stroik, Walla, uh, yeah, Wally's World. And Shackleton on the back line, Meslier in goal. We are pretty lacking at center back for some of these match congestion spots. Let's bring Carter Vickers on. He he's he should be my fourth choice. And then uh, do I want anybody different? Shackleton's not on. Oh, Shackleton is on. I was kind of wondering if we wanted to put Shackleton. Uh, we can't play Sessignon today against his parent club, so that's going to force us to play Shackleton at right back. I was I'm I'm trying to think if I want to go with Shacks, maybe Shacks, Rodrigo, and Tenali, or some or Shacks, Rodrigo, and Phillips in that triangle, and then. Guiri out on the wing with that other guy, the, the guy we don't play a lot. I just talked about him. The other striker. What's his name? What's his name? I don't know. Oh, well, you guys, we just talked about him. I can't think of it right off the top of my head. All right, well, let's go with this. Get into it. It is going to be a little bit of a different match just with some of the players that we have. I'm going to go with the... Assistant coach making the call. All right. Leaf Davis, Rafinha. 
Oh, that was too heavy a touch there, Leaf. Phillips, that's a nice header over to Tenali. Brings it around. Find the outside ball there to Dallas. Inside. Oh, Guiri plays it out to Shax. Oh, that's a good block by Tosca. Tenali, good interception on the clearance. Through ball, Rodrigo should have put that at the back post. He had it on his left foot. I'm thinking that should have been in the net. Still in all, good effort. All right, we're going to re- That was kind of a poor pass back. And nothing came of it. Good clearance header. Dallas is on it. We've got a counter opportunity. He holds it up, squares it into Phillips. Finale comes up, makes the play. Nice outlet ball. Davis on the run. Oh, big tackle. And there it is. It's Dallas making the run from the right wing. They are going to check for offsides. They are appealing for it. They're checking VAR. Oh, and it's waved off. No highlight? I'd like to see a replay of that, but that's all right. Let's, uh, let's encourage him. All right. A little bit of a positive reaction. Rafinha. And who got that? Tenali with the volley. They're looking for another offsides. VAR called into play again. And another wave off. Oh, VAR is killing us. Yeah, they were just a step off sides. That's, that's harsh. Two VAR decisions in the first 20. Oh, that is not doing well for us here, fellas. All right, let's, uh, let's demand more. Not a lot of activity in the way of shots. Wasn't happy with that clearance, but we end up with possession. No, that was not good. I always get nervous with Calvin in, in real life. When whenever he makes a mistake like that with a bad pass or something, he oh that's just blistered into the net by Ivanusic, third goal of the season, and that just had some steam on it. Ouch! So we are down one nil. But yeah, when he makes a mistake like that, I always worry. Oh, Rodrigo puts it on target. Keeper's right there. But I'm always worried. That's usually when he picks up a, a red card or, or a second yellow or something of the nature that I want to go into tactics. Let's change up to this. Now, how are we going to... Dallas can play right wing, can he? He can. He can play left, but he's right-footed. So that works for him. Rodrigo, let's bring him up for Phillips there and then swap him out. And you know what? I'm going to make him a central midfielder on support. Deep line playmaker. Everybody else is in the same position. Start second half. And we have moved around. All right, Meslier makes a save there. And let's um, fire him up. Nice ball out to Rafinha. He cuts it inside. Tackled away. I was hoping Tenali would be there for that rebound, but he ran past it, unfortunately. All right, Tenali under a little bit of pressure. Lays it off. Not a good ball up. Uh, you know what? I think... On these guys, I'm not seeing 
I mean, they can both pass decently. I guess. I guess we'll leave it as ball playing defenders. I've just seen a couple of really bad outlet passes there. Kind of infuriating me. Good steal by Rodrigo. Play it through. Guerrero slots it in. His ninth of the season. I think he stayed on side there. And I don't see any, any concern or marker. So that is going to be an equalizer. All right. Let's encourage. And see if we can't get the go ahead now. We've been the better side. Those always look like the keeper runs out of bounds. A bruised knee, we're going to ignore that. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and. I think she's saying make that substitution there. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And the other sub. Anybody else needs to come off. Stuart Dallas could, could afford to come off. We'll put Costa on up there. Costa's left-footed. Jones is right-footed. So that inverted forward or inside forward actually works to their advantage right there. Carter Vickers not playing well. I want to be able to do, oh, here we go. Touchline shout, no. See, that? Okay, I got it to pop up that time, but I can't, can't make the shout. I was hoping he was going to pounce there. Oh, there's a nice ball in, Guiri. Oh, and they just punch it into the stands. I was thinking he was going to have a shot at a little rebound there. All right, let's see. Carter Vickers is not playing well. Tenali is really tired, however. But I think, I think we're going to bring Stroik on. I think we're going to do that. Play it short. Rodrigo Shackleton. Back to Rodrigo. Down to the touch line, and it's knocked away for another corner. <laughs> All right, there's our sub. Denali, off sides. Oh, my God. Shackleton misses the tackle. There's a block and basically an empty netter. I don't know where Meslier was walking off to. That was horrifying. Kind of want to see what happened there. Maybe he was moving to one side. I thought Shackleton was going to clear it there. And then Walds just ran straight across instead of cutting the angle. All right, the ball's coming into the middle. I guess he was, he dove. I guess he was going for the shot and it just bounced back and he didn't have time to get up. Oh, that's brutal. Brutal. And let's raise up to attacking. Fire up. Shackleton, Rodrigo. There's a nice ball. We need this one. Guiri places it in at the back post. Number 10 on the season, and that is the equalizer. And we're going to drop back to positive. That was a brilliant ball by Shax. Guiri timed that run perfectly. And we probably should have, let's see. Yeah, 0.68, and they ended up with two goals. One and a half. We, entered, we should have won that game based on XG. I think they got a really cheap one there from Vargas, to be sure. Tenali struggled a little bit. Rodrigo played well in that spot. 
and Shackleton played well. I'm thinking maybe going with a midfield of Shax and Rodrigo and then rotating Phillips or Tanali in that defensive mid. That was not good enough. That's what we're going to tell them. And we'll be back for Aston Villa in just a second. All right, let's take a quick look through uh, just a few things because we've reached the transfer window. So here's our uh, dynamics. Things are looking really good. Uh, one unhappy player is Carter Vickers, wants to leave to get better playing time. Uh, but you saw last match, we gave him the start and he really didn't perform. So we really need him for cover. He's our third or fourth option there, and we are going to need some depth. So we've had some lone players return. Uh, we've taken some offers on Jan Emmers. He's the guy that we brought in, could not get a work permit, so we're trying to move him off. We will take a hit on him. I've got two transfer offers. Uh, I've got two other ones that we've negotiated to the same amount. And then I've got two loan offers. So we're going to try to move him out to where at least we're saving some payroll. Uh, Tyler Roberts is back in. We've added him back to the squad. And Bamford has three offers, so he, he may be leaving us. Roberts will be end of the year, uh, end of contract, if he is uh, signed. So we'll figure that out. Let's get into the team selection today. Oh, I did want to check. So they expect us to reach the fifth round. So we're playing Villa, and they are 17th in the league. So, all right, let's take a look. Quick pick. Oh, you know what? I want to go back to this tactic. All right, now I want Guiri up top. I want Rodrigo as a central mid support. Shackleton, if I can find him. Shackleton here. Phillips back. Yeah, he can he can play, he can pass, he can handle the ball. I want Rodrigo being more forward. Although Shackleton, let's make him a box to box. Box to box, complete central midfielder, uh defensive mid. We're gonna leave them on support. Urente, they're just not grooving, but they're our two best backs. But you know what? Let's bring Stroik in there. Oh, actually, you know what? Who we should bring? We should bring him in because I think he's our third choice. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Meslier, Sessignon, Dallas. Now, who do I want on the left wing? I would like Koenicki out there. He's got good finishing. He can cross decently. He's right-footed, so he can cut in from there. And that gives us basically our three best goal scorers on the pitch. Shackleton has looked really good, and, he, and he's big on assists. I think that gives us our best goal-scoring people on, on the pitch. So let's see how that works today. Tyler Roberts is back. He doesn't get his old number. And we are off the mark with a couple of shots. All right, they get the first highlight, however. Matty Cash. Oh, a heel, a little heel kick to McGinn, who shoots it wide of the mark. Well, let's uh, demand more. Sessignon into the box. Uh, looks like it was blocked away. That's going to set up a corner for us. It's Phillips. Plays it short to Rodrigo. Crossed in. Koch controls it. Back out to Wally's world. Uh, let's switch up to short passing and see what that does. I know it wasn't, we weren't playing a super long passing, 
but Sessignon heads it out. Matty Cash gets there to take control of the ball. Knocked away, but recovers. Oh, and Ollie Watkins, his sixth of the season, and he slots it in, beating our defender. I think that was Stroik that was on him. No, nope, that was that was Wally's world. That's right. We put him in in place of Stroik. Oh, that was just not encouraging. We come straight back. That could be good or bad. Rodrigo into the attack. And it looks like it took a deflection, but no, it's going to be a goal kick. Demand more. McGinn to the outside. Well, that's a nice, nice defensive play. Not very good as far as getting rid of the ball. All right, head it out. Rafinha's there. He breaks left, beats his man. He's into the box. Oh, and it's deflected away. Doesn't quite make it out for the corner. You know what I'm not seeing here is uh, greasiness. You guys know I'm not a big fan. Oh, that looks like it went off the woodwork. That was a tasty looking shot. Right, Rodrigo's the only guy dragging a little bit. Well, Rafinha is as well. There's a flick on header. Guiri takes it into the box and another powerful shot knocked away. Let's encourage him. And not a lot happening there. Koch, Sessignon. That didn't look like a short pass to me, did it? Oh, he held it in and then... Tr All right. In possession. Shorter passing. Let's raise the tempo. Now, you know what? I'm going to drop the tempo too. Much shorter. We'll ask him to be more expressive. Because we've got some creative players here. All right, Shackleton, Guiri. Uh, he beat his man, and oh my god, that should have been in the net. Oh, he was aiming for that bottom corner, and it just drifted wide. Blocked away. There's a clearance. Guiri comes back to control that. Now he's down the left flank. Is he going to have... Oh, taken down hard. And that's got to be a card. No? You know, I do miss... You know what I miss here? I miss the, the time bar. I miss the time bar going across the top. And, you know, because then at least I could see a yellow card. That guy did not get a card for that foul. That is insane. All right, let's go ahead and rest Rafinha. We're going to bring Harrison on. Uh, and then Rodrigo for Jones. And I tell you what, I'm going to make Shaxx on that side. Two of our biggest playmakers. I'm a little nervous about that. Oh, nice snag by Meslier on the cross. I gave some thought to swapping out one of our back line players. Harrison! That was uh, that was optimistic. <laughs> All right, Jones plays it short. Harrison's there. Oh, he fights for it. Gives it away. 
Oh, there's a nice ball into Jack, and it gets deflected at the last second, right when he was firing that leg into it. Demand more. Come on, boys. All right, let's make another sub. We're going to bring off Koenecki and bring on Paveda. And we're going to swap those two guys. All right, we are going to go up to attacking. And we're going to raise the tempo. More direct passing. I think that's good. Ah, we're just... We're not playing bad, just not. 17 shots, 7 on target, a 196 XG to a not 8 0, and we just didn't score. Very, very wasteful today. We're creating. I mean, that's the thing. And if we create, we're going to come out ahead in the long run, I think. I am going to thrash arms, far from pleased. And that's dropping points we really could not afford to do. And that gets us knocked out of the FA Cup. Harrison's out for a couple of days. All right, well, so that means we're solely focusing on the Premier League. And I think what we're going to do is come back. Brentford and Bournemouth is, I think, what we had talked about. Liverpool, Arsenal. We're going to have three episodes left after this. So one, two, three. Yeah, let's come back for Brentford Bournemouth. That'll be one. And then we'll come back in that Liverpool Arsenal range. And then Brentford Leicester. Maybe we do Bournemouth Man City instead. Since we're going to finish off with Brentford. I think that's a good call. So let me know what you guys think. Disappointing day today. Both of them. We've got to find some wins here. Holding on to seventh, just clinging on with our fingertips. We played our matches to give away our game in hand advantage. Disappointed there. All right, guys, we'll see you next episode. Have a good one.